Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're back in SnowRunner continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play series. Now in the last episode, just in case you haven't seen it, we went and fixed up the brand new Amandra map. Uh, Outlaw joined me for that. It was a lot of fun. Um, we did get stuck quite a lot. Um, the video took place over several days. I shortened it down to 30 minutes for you. It was quite a lengthy video, but I felt it was worth it. Um, I wanted to show off all the sort of mishaps that we went through. But in the end, we did fix up the garage. So we're back here now in Amandra with a brand new truck here. Um, not a brand new truck in my fleet, but it is a brand new truck that we haven't yet um, sort of seen in um the let's play yet now i have already gone ahead and customized this thing you've probably all seen customization for this truck it is called the dam um there's some numbers behind it as well but i can't remember what they are so i'm just going to refer to it as the dam now this is usually my crane truck and today i fitted it with a high saddle because if you've seen the SnowRunner live stream we did last Monday when the new DLC dropped, um, I actually went and winched the Warthog up onto a high saddle trailer. And that is the brand new discoverable truck for the Amandra map. And we're going to be going rescuing that today. So I need a high saddle truck that's going to be able to pull that trailer and hopefully bring the Warthog back to the garage so we can use it in the next episode. And I've gone for the Dan for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's all-wheel drive and diff lock permanently turned on. It has chain tyres. It has a heavy winch on it. And you can obviously fit a high saddle on. And it's a truck we haven't seen yet. So let's fire this thing up. I've not used this thing yet. It's going to be a lot of fun trying to navigate this thing because it is a long boy as you can see i usually use this um as a crane truck i don't usually use this for pulling trailers um but this is also kind of a um a test for me because i'm interested to see how well this thing performs while pulling a trailer now it is a funny looking truck i have to say um personally i quite like the look of it um, I know a lot of the community doesn't really like the look of the truck. Um, the off-road capability is incredible. Um, I don't. I still don't know whether the chain tyres are better than mud tyres or not. A lot of this Amandra map is quite muddy snow. So um, hopefully the chain tyres are going to be able to cope. There is also a lot of ice on this map. And a lot of the parts of the map aren't even passable without chain tyres. So that is why I've gone for chain tyres. I felt it was necessary. And of course another thing that is going to play a bit of a role in this. Is whether the Warthog is actually going to stay on the trailer. Because as I'm making this video we can't actually strap trucks down onto trailers. Um, I know that's something that SnowRunner devs have talked about. Um, that we might see in the future um, but as I'm making this video that isn't a feature yet so I don't know how well that thing's going to stay on there I don't know whether it might fall off at some point um, but it's up on that trailer I figured let's get a high saddle truck out we've not used the Dan yet let's go and see if we can pull it back and if it does fall off there we can always just winch it behind the truck and uh, hopefully not have any issues now we are stuck in this bit of a bog right here i have learned from the last episode we can go around this way to the left instead of going down that banking and rolling over like we did in the last episode spoiler alert now this section here is a little bit interesting i don't like driving this this part of the map is this one little section right here is always a bit interesting. Sometimes you flip your truck, sometimes you get it stuck. Um, we're not quite going to be able to reach that pole. But if we go to back winch, 
We should now be able to winch. No, we can't quite winch to the front yet. Okay, well, I was going to say we are stuck, but... Dan continues to amaze. This section is a little bit interesting. Let's see what we can do right here. Now, this is absolutely where you need chain tyres. I've tried to drive up there without chain tyres. You just... You simply cannot get up there without chain tyres. You absolutely have to have them. Um, I'm actually just going to pull over here because I didn't actually show you the route that we were going to take. So we started back here at the garage. We just opened the garage in the last episode. We're driving down the main road here to the Warthog, which is just right here on the high saddle trailer at this kind of airport area. I mean, the scenery on this map is quite beautiful. I've not actually driven down this way yet, down this hill. But I have to say, the scenery is really beautiful. As I say that, I nearly drove down a ditch, so we're going to have to be a bit more careful. Um, we now have the horrible river crossing section, which is coming up right in front of us, just in a minute. Um... Yeah, I don't know how this thing's going to cope, because this thing is quite long as well. Which is something I hadn't really thought about when I when I decided to use this thing. Um, so, yeah, that, that might be a little bit interesting. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes, I guess. Right, a bit of low range should see us through this section. Um, not, not too difficult. Um, there's obviously plenty of winch points around, so not too worried about that. Now, this is the section where we have to cross the river. There is like a makeshift bridge across, which you're going to see in a minute. That is where the bridge should be. And you should be able to just drive across there, but it is fallen down at the moment, it is broken. Now, I'm hoping in a future sort of update, um, I will eventually get this right. Yeah, in a future episode, or in a future um, update to SnowRunner, hopefully we'll be able to go and fix that bridge, because it is a real pain. This is where the long nose of the dam might scupper it no it's dealt with that okay um yeah that is the bridge just there to my right um it's basically some rocks across the river and some concrete slabs that is the extent of the bridge um now there is these like concrete slabs down here that if you have a crane you can actually lift them up and like move them I'm going to get square on to this before we attempt to cross this. Yeah, those concrete slabs just there to my right, you can actually lift those up with a crane. They have a winch point on them. And you can move them to a position that you choose. That is not what I wanted to do. Um, I'm going to just back that up and try it again. Now, this is the problem I didn't really think about with the dam is obviously it is such a massive truck um, is can it actually get across here without falling off sometimes a little bit of speed can help and we have to get back across here with a trailer in a minute so not thinking about that at the moment um, but Whoa, it's going down there. It's not what I want. Um, I don't know whether it's better in automatic or in low. Because in low I can stick it back in reverse quickly if I need it. But low we have more throttle control. But we are across anyway. <sighs> that was just tense. That is the Warthog right there up on the trailer. Um, now, 
I could drive all the way around um, on the road, but I'm going to be lazy. Well, I say I'm going to be lazy and just drive through here. I don't know how bad this snow is. This may, this may be a mistake. No. I'm going to stick it in low plus just so the gearbox isn't trying to switch all the time. We can just smash through that fence. I don't think the airport is going to be overly concerned about the fence there. Um, but anyway, yeah, here is the airport. In case you didn't watch the live stream or you haven't seen it before in your game, that is the warthog we're going to go and rescue up there on the trailer. Now, as I said, we can't strap trucks down yet, so I think the handbrake is on. I'm going to hitch up the trailer first and just see how we go. And if it does start to move on the trailer or it does fall off, we will simply just pull it behind the dam with the winch. But I'd like to pull it on the trailer because I think that's quite cool. So, let's go now and hitch the trailer up. Hopefully that's not going to spaz out. No, it does seem to be okay. And it is morning again. I just thought we'd just skip some time there, just so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to just take it slow to begin with. Okay, the warthog seems to be, seems to be held there on the brake. It doesn't seem to be sliding off. Kind of like how it does in GTA. If you put a truck on the back of a trailer, it just sort of slips off the back. It doesn't have those same physics. I'm going to go low range. We don't. We're not against the clock here, so not concerned about that. I'm not going to take the shortcut this time either. We're going to go the long way around. Now the trailer here is plenty wide enough. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about that river crossing section. Um, that's going to be fun. The rest, not too concerned about. I think should be okay. But that one river crossing section, that is the only part that I'm sort of dreading. Don't know how we're going to cope with that. The rest, yeah. Not confident about, but I don't think we're going to have an issue. It's sitting there nicely, so it does appear to be holding on the handbrake. An awesome little truck, I believe. I've not actually driven it yet. I've not test driven it. I've not customised it in any way. Um, I've not even seen it in the game apart from the live stream we did the other day um, I'd only seen photos of it up until that point so this is really my first real look at the Warthog it's a pretty cool looking truck actually it is in the Tuz family so it's basically it's supposed to be like um, complementary model to the Actian, I think. It's supposed to be similar to that. Uh, like a little scout vehicle. And I think in the next episode we're going to be customising it and test driving it. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see how it performs in the next episode. And see what it has to offer. But from the gameplay I've seen on YouTube, it is a very, very cool vehicle. Very good um, off-road performing vehicle so yeah we'll, we'll give it a test definitely just cracking a little bit of ice there I don't think it's anything concerning I don't remember there being any ice under here like well like any that you can fall through anyway that is our little shortcut we just took a minute ago I mean, okay, that is that is not an angle that I'm going for. Um, it's also going to catch on that rock, and I fear that's going to just flip it over. So we're going to have to go up this bank in a little bit, straight, and then start coming down. I'm trying to keep the trailer as flat as possible, because I don't want that to tip off. Because that thing is up on the trailer, it does make it quite sort of... Well, it's got a high centre of gravity up there. So it could tip quite 
easily. It, it appears to be sitting okay. Um, obviously, it's in its stock form, so it's not got any ray suspension or anything like that. The dam here, I can't remember whether I put ray suspension on this. I don't know if it even has the option to have that. I can't actually remember. Um, what are we stuck on? Are we stuck on that rock there? Uh, let's go for a winch. So that telegraph pole. There we go. I think actually the front tyres were stuck on that rock. Ooh. Uh, it did nearly tip off there. Just going to swap to the... Just going to swap to this thing. And just... Oh, oh. Oh. Well, it has fallen off the trailer now. Uh, I maybe shouldn't have moved it and tried to shuffle it up when we were a bit more on the flat. Um... Well, that wasn't really what I wanted to do. But we are coming up to that river section. And I don't know whether we're going to be able to cross that with, with the trailer. On the back. So, I'm going to leave the trailer here for now. It's not in a great position, I know. Uh, but we're just going to tow the... We're going to tow the um, warthog just on the back with the winch I am I am concerned about this water section though because we saw how many issues we had with this thing crossing it didn't look like it but I was panicking there slightly and now we have an uncontrollable dog on a leash behind us um, I guess if it goes in the water and the dam's across, we can just tow it out of the water. This thing has more than enough power to do that. We still have 122 litres left. This thing isn't the most thirsty truck in the game. But we've used over half a tank getting from the garage to here. Um... So we are over halfway, but we have used over half a tank. So I think we're going to be cutting it very fine on the fuel front. I can always go and get another truck to refuel us, but preferably like to be able to just drive it back if we can. Now we could, you could say, well, why don't you just drive the warthog back on its own? You know, just refuel it and drive it. Well, it is broken. I could have brought some repair parts to repair it but it's just a bit of fun trying to trying to pull the stricken truck back this section isn't going to be fun though yeah it has gone in the water that's what I thought it might do but oh I'm hoping we might be able to just pull it out of there with a little bit of power. It's broken anyway, so if it gets stuck in the water a bit more, it's it's not going to get any worse, basically. We have pulled it out of there, and we are across as it smashes into the back of us. Um, yeah. We're just going to continue onwards to the garage. I think the most difficult parts are now behind us. I don't think we would have been able to get across there with the trailer on the back. I'm almost certain that if we had gone with the trailer, the Warthog would have fallen off the back. So, um, yeah, I don't think that was going to be a viable, a viable tactic. I think we've done the right thing and just hitched it on the back here. There are one or two more little iffy parts. Nothing major, as we saw on the way here. Nothing that I can't handle. Um, but just some little 
Oh, come on, bam. We can make this corner. Yeah, just a couple of little sections that are going to be consuming more of our fuel, like this like rocky part right here. Now, this is typically the direction I have been travelling in when I've sort of battled this section. And, yeah, as you can see, I don't have any problems going this way. On the way here, we had a few few issues battling with that bit. On the way back, not too bad. What are you doing back there, little warthog? Seems to be fine. It does look like a warthog a little bit. I think once we get a bed on the back of it, it will look a bit more normal. With the sort of exposed chassis, it does look a little bit weird. The uh, the load star was kind of the same until you get the bed on the back of it. It looks a little bit strange. Now, as I always do, um, I give you a short review of the truck. And I couldn't do that in the last episode because we weren't actually driving a new truck. We'd, we've driven the Lodestar before, I've done a review on the Lodestar. Uh, but we are in the Dan today, a brand new truck that we haven't driven yet. We haven't actually customised this thing because I'd already customised it before this video. So, um, can't really show you that. But I can say it does have a lot of great customization. There's loads of parts you can change on this thing. There's loads of roof options. Um, you can obviously fit the heavy crane on. And this thing with the heavy crane is incredible. If you're looking for a good truck to carry the heavy crane, Dan is definitely the one to go for. Um, but it is also a good truck for this kind of thing. It was pulling that heavy trailer okay. It's towing this little um, warthog through here with no problems. It, it's a very capable truck, actually. It has all-wheel drive and diff lock permanently turned on. Um... Now this section is actually really horrible and it's making progress through here quite nicely. It's going to get stuck because I've not been in a truck that hasn't got stuck in this section yet. But I think actually this has made it the furthest through of any truck I've driven here yet. So I mean that's quite impressive actually. But yeah. Um, we are almost out of fuel as well, so I'm going to go and grab one of the other trucks to pull us out and to refuel us, and then we're going to go and continue. So, I'll be back in a minute. And we're back. Um, I decided that the Actium probably didn't have enough power to pull the dam through because it's such a heavy truck. So I decided to give the P16, uh, the P12, sorry, a chance to redeem itself after the rolling incident of the last episode. Um, yeah, we did roll over just a little bit in the um, in the P12 in the last episode. Um, so I decided we'll give it a chance to redeem itself. If it can pull the dam out of here, that would be absolutely super. We can obviously go and refuel that thing. You know, trucks like these don't really have... In in sort of power-to-weight terms, they don't have much horsepower. They might have like six, 700 horsepower, which sounds like a lot. In something that weighs as much as these trucks do, uh, that really isn't much. But the torque factor in these, is that is what's important in semi trucks is the torque and these might have like 2,000 pound feet of torque which if you don't know what that is it's a lot of torque um, so it would be nice to see some more statistics like that if you're watching snowrunner devs then maybe in a future episode you could give us some more statistics like that be quite interesting to find out how much these trucks have in uh, comparison to each other because I think the P12 there and the dam that I'm driving here are probably the most compar comparable heavy trucks. But yeah, the dam, definitely a good vehicle. I I've uh, enjoyed driving this thing. I think it works best as a crane vehicle because um, obviously you can get the, the heavy crane on this and the outriggers are very... They're very high on this, which sounds kind of like a weird observation. 
but when you're going through rocky ground and you have the outriggers on some of the other trucks they get caught on stuff but with the dam they seem to fit very nicely with the truck it doesn't seem to get caught on stuff like the like the other trucks do so i think it does work best as a crane it looks best as a crane as well but it has gone and rescued the warthog here um we are going to make it back to the garage if i can actually get in the entrance here um we are probably going to just have to drive the warthog sort of the last little section to just recover it into the garage because we can't like tow a vehicle and recover it i'm really struggling getting in this entrance here and of course the warthog's gonna get stuck let's move the dam into the garage um we'll jump in the warthog you can see it has a broken engine it has a broken gearbox but it should be it should be okay just to drive forwards we only need to get to this little box here so we can recover it and there we go the thing is fully fixed up 200 repair point uh, 200 sort of liters of fuel sorry and we have gone ahead and rescued the warthog it was a bit of a shame we couldn't actually get it all the way here on the trailer i would have liked to do that um if we could have strapped the the truck down um like we're going to hopefully be able to in phase two um that would have made it a bit more sort of ambitious a little bit more exciting um but i mean we did rescue it uh we didn't recover it in the end you know um we towed it all the way here the, the dan did an excellent job if you haven't got that truck yet you can get it for free if you go and rescue it from the quarry in the tamar region so definitely recommend that truck if you haven't got it yet and uh yeah in the next episode we're going to be customizing the warthog so if you want to see customization for this vehicle then make sure you subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video as well if you have enjoyed we've made quite a few snowrunner episodes as well so far so if you want to see some more snowrunner episodes i will link the playlist down below in the description but that is going to do it from me today thank you all so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one